Mingala Bakam Ya, I'm Angus Watson. The heavyweight players in Burma's political arena were in Naypyidaw for unprecedented talks on Friday. The military, government, opposition and ethnic groups were all in Burma's capital for a summit on the reform process. President Thang Sein spoke of his intention to continue with the democratic transition while implementing peace and political stability ahead of next year's election. The meeting was the first time opposition leader Su Chi has held official talks with Army Chief Min Ong Lain. She expressed her dissatisfaction with the day's progress. U.S. President Barack Obama spoke separately by telephone with Burma's President Thane Sein and Aung San Suu Kyi ahead of Friday's meetings. He made the calls to reiterate Washington's insistence that Naypyidaw address ethnic tensions in the country. Obama also spoke of the need for free and fair elections in 2015. He will make his second visit to Burma in November, when he will attend the East Asian Summit in the Burmese capital. The World Food Programme will scale back aid to internally displaced persons across Burma by as much as 20%. Ration cuts will begin in November and will affect 70,000 refugees. The WFP says the reduction is forced by budgetary constraints. The program had previously cut supplies to IDPs in Mektila, central Burma, where communal violence forced thousands from their homes last year. The WFP says refugees in Mektila are no longer among Burma's most vulnerable. Dang Sein has pledged that the Burma's National Human Rights Commission will investigate the death of Baji. State media on Friday carried a press release from the president's office, which stated that a special report would be filed at Dang Sein. The statement referred to Baji as a captain in the armed group the Glortubor Karen organization. The late freelance journalist's wife and colleagues have repeatedly stated that he had no connection to the KKO. Baji was killed in military custody in Mon State on the 4th of October. You can find more on all of today's stories at dvb.no. Bye for now.